So do you think you're a baby witch? No, you're not. And I can tell you that with certainty because there is no such thing. You may be new to the craft or less experienced than some other witch. So what? We're all less experienced on some level than another. Let go of that as a negative. If you're new to the craft, you have advantages that none of the rest of us have. Embrace them. You have an open mind, for one. I see so many seasoned witches with closed, closed minds, so set in their ways that they will never be able to meet their full potential because they're just doing what they've always done. Why were the greats like Einstein, Tesla, and even Nassim Harriman so successful in changing the world and bringing new ideas to the world? Yeah, they needed focus and intention to make a difference. But I say the primary reason is because they were not indoctrinated by mainstream thinking of the time. They thought for themselves. They considered things outside of the current box of awareness that most people were in. And they accessed wisdom outside of what they knew, outside of what was known at the time by the so-called experts. This has always been the way of the witch. So why are we so... Why are there so many modern seasoned witches stuck in what they think they know? because it's what they've always done. Just like those greats I mentioned earlier, you are not yet stuck in those ways of the old energy system that many of us older, veteran witches were raised with and indoctrinated to. You can take much more easily and make use of the new energy in the planet, which makes working with the craft so much better and easier. Just as one simple example, look at the ancient texts. And they told people that the way to pray effectively was to face east. Well, yeah, in that very old energy, it was tremendously helpful to face east. But as the energy has changed on the planet, it no longer matters. And yet a huge segment of population still face east to pray. Now, does it hurt them to do so? No, nah, absolutely not. Facing east is fine. But knowing that it's no longer necessary opens a world of possibilities. This is insignificant compared to what changes in energy offer you today as a witch that were not available or even thought of in an older energy world. Yes, there are certain basic understandings that will help you. It's not overwhelming. There are only three of them. Here they are. You ready? Learn to focus and channel your intention. Two, learn to discern truth. So you know what, what to do that's not wasting your time or misleading you down useless paths. And three, do it. Do not wait until you think you're an expert before practicing the craft. No one is an expert. And well, I guess there's one more little piece of advice, record your actions and results. Evaluate and shift based on those results and try something else if it isn't working for you. That's it. No need to get overwhelmed. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there about the craft and much of it contradicts each other. So what? Once you learn to discern the truth, the best truth for you, none of that other stuff matters anymore. Yeah. Check it out. Check everything out. Test it for truth as it relates to you and your current energy state. Look at what others do in light of what makes sense in this new energy and the level of truth it has and consider adjusting and increasing it for truth or added value. Test your approach, record your results, adjust if you need to. If you practice witchcraft, actually perform spells, ceremonies, rituals, then you're already a witch. You may not be as effective as you'd like to be, but I know witches who have been practicing for decades and are not as effective as they'd like to be. Remember, practice does not make perfect. Only perfect practice makes perfect. 
Be kind to yourself and the process. This is the greatest value of your Book of Shadows. Record your efforts and results. Some results take time. And a good Book of Shadows helps you celebrate successes over time and helps you adjust when the results were not quite what you expected so that you can get better results next time. Now, if you just read about it, then you're just a researcher. So there's no such thing as a baby witch. You're a researcher. You're either reading about it or you're doing it. You're either a researcher or you're a witch. That's it. It's all there is. Two choices. If you've been a researcher and you're ready to be a witch, take the next step. I've entered some links down here that lead you to some other magical moments that might help you. One is a ritual to embrace that step. One is a link to help you increase your focus. And another is to learn how to discern truth. So, climb on in, the water's fine.